Hey guys, it's Kaylee. I've gotten several questions lately on how it is that we measure clothes in our photos. So to start, we have a very long table with a couple of tape measures on it, but honestly, after doing this so many times, we end up only using this one. So having one facing you in the direction you're going to be standing most of the time, I'm usually standing right here, and we're gonna take all of our measurements along the string here. I will show you tops and pants, and both of those will kind of help for any other measurements that you might need. So you guys can see the tape measure is always like right next to the wall. That way it goes to the same place every time. And so you're taking the item to the wall. So I've got a shirt right here. And after we photograph it, all I do is grab the pit to pit, kind of slam it down on the table and bring it to the wall or the edge of your table. And then we take a photo showing the entire thing. You can also do an angle like right here. It also just, you know, helps eliminate um, any questions that buyers have on your measurements because they're gonna know exactly where you measured from. So for tops, dresses, and many other things, we do the pit to pit measurement. Then we grab it, throw it down and then you've got your length. If you wanted to, you could also do a sleeve measurement. You could do the pit to the cuff, or you could flip it over and you could do the shoulder to the cuff, but essentially um, you wanna fold the item to fit whatever it is that you're trying to measure so that you only have to use this one tape measure. It saves a lot of time. For pants, we always do the waist measurement, rise and then inseam. So for the waist, I just flip it over, make sure that that's flat, as flat as possible and as flush as possible. Take my photo. For the inseam, I grab the crotch area, fold it against the wall. There is my photo. And then for inseam, I grab the crotch area. I feel like there's a better word I should be using, but that's what I use. And then there is my inseam photo, but I essentially just fold the items. That way I can get a really, really quick uh, photo of a measurement. And in case anybody is curious, this is what it looks like in real time. Hope this was helpful.